but they don't want the band. Are we allowed to go? The Fort Gibson Royal Regiment. Royal Regiment competed last Saturday at OBA State Marching Band Championships where they were awarded Class 4A State Runner-Up. Congratulations, band. Band will be performing in the OSSAA Regional Marching Contest on Tuesday, October 19th in Ulaga. Come out and support your Royal Regiment. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. 
Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Muskogee Powder Coating, doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajita Ritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. 
Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes, where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Muskogee Powder Coating, doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajitaritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. You sell us off Black Diamond 16 7, getting ready to kick off this second half. Having a little bit of technical difficulty, but I think we got things ironed out. So, this game not going exactly uh, like I thought it would go, Coach. I, I honestly, uh, just by looking at the scores, and you know, <laughs> being a coach, you always told the kids you don't look at scores, but. Uh, Salisaw just uh, struggling a lot this year. They just don't look like, like I said earlier, they don't look like a one and six football team. Well, some of those six are probably some of the teams that we're fixing to face. You're probably right. That might account for two or three of those. Uh, but at the same time, for us, 
for us, we've had opportunity to put a couple more touchdowns up on the board, but we've had a drop or two or penalties. We had penalties and mistakes tonight have really, really hurt you know, the and, Tigers. And a missed field goal, there's, there's 10 there. So you know, if you're sitting here 26 to 7, you're at halftime, you're feeling a whole lot. But it's been us against us, really, just tonight. That's right. <clears throat> so, uh, like you, I kind of look for a big dose of uh, quarterback. Uh, Strun, how do you say his name? I don't, I'm, I'm going to have to guess Strun. Strun? Uh, Strun. I, I don't know. Oh, good pressure. Good pressure. Still didn't, didn't get him. Didn't contain him. Took a bad angle there. So, bunches of Tigers over there. Mahaney, Murphy, Lewis. But not before uh, the quarterback gains eight yards. So, second and two, boy, you'll take that all day long. Yeah, he took a, took a shot and got out of it. Another one of those, what we've seen all night, it's kind of the first man there. doesn't always make the play. That's right. Mike Johnson had that initial pressure and couldn't get him down. Yeah, Mike did a good job. Mike, Mike did a good job getting there, and uh, he, like I say, just didn't break down. Made hurried him up. We didn't contain the edge. What he did. So quarterback checks the play. Oh, and he, <laughs> he about got surprised by that snap. Quick stop but, route there. There's the snap count, and sometimes there's just the center's count that right. he thinks it's there. That's right. Big play. See it happen a lot. If they don't get this, then maybe they'll force the punt being on that side of the 50. Looks like they're trying to get the right personnel on the field, off the field. Trey Force checks in for the Tigers. Going with a little so, more beef up there in the front. I think yeah. it might be a sneak or something up tight, and it is. Yeah, the quarterback's just had a lot of success. He didn't get it. At least I don't, if I'm looking at the right. If you look at that side judge over there, he's, he's on that 50, so now it'll come down to will they do it or not. That's right. Quarterback's feeling that one. Up he's, slow, isn't he? Mm -hmm, he's taking some shots. Which you would think would count him out. <clears throat> yeah, he's not, he's not functioning 100% right now. Looks like they're taking him off the field, bringing the backup quarterback in, number four, Parker Jackson, Jr., 6'1", 185. Yeah, I think you just got to look for a hard count here. Be disciplined. Don't give it to them for free. And they, I think, Salasaw may have moved early. Timeout, I think, Salasaw. Oh, okay. There was too much confusion up there on that line right there. They were running from side to side. And I think Coach is definitely going to go for it, and he didn't want to go for it with the confusion, so now he's just going to take time out. And right now, my question, uh, since quarterback had to miss a play, I don't think he can come back until the play has been run, correct? I think it, the clock has to be engaged. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, bring you uh, some of the folks, or a lot of the folks that help us uh, do this this uh, live stream uh, Keith's Hardware Supply, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Cornerstone Funeral, Funeral Home and Crematory, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Muskogee Powder Coating, Tiger's Den, Reaction Wraps, Dr. Tebby, Debbie Coy and Dr. Kimberly DeRosset, the Le uh, Learning Nest and Armstrong Strong Bank. Man, I had a hard time getting that out. But we do appreciate you folks supporting Fort Gibson Schools. Definitely do to appreciate all our sponsors uh, that, that contribute to our program and our school. And our community is very giving and uh, very supportive. Yes, yes, they are. <coughs> so here we go, fourth and really short. And they just go for it, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Depends <laughs> on. Yeah, it looks like they've got him spotted just past. And that was indeed the backup quarterback. So Salasa on their <coughs> initial possession of the second half, burning some clock.
Snap the shotgun, handoff to the tailback. That's a new back, right? Is that number three? Number three this time, uh, Cole Stevens, sophomore, another sophomore. Two sophomore running backs, 23 and three. Uh, Foster and uh, Stevens. Yeah, Stevens picked up about five yards right there. Maybe four. They're doing a good job containing our edge. They sure are. Double teaming our outside backer and kicking the uh, corner out. So the Diamonds on the march early in this third quarter. Gerald Fairchild in for the Tigers. Black Dimes just kind of bunching up and running right at the Tigers right now. Yes, they are. They're not making any secrets about it. Backup quarterback. Don't know if he can throw or not. They're not going to find out. They're just going to keep handing off, looks like. Well, we're fixing and to find out. First throw, and it's almost picked off, I think. Yeah, I don't think. I think Coach Beth was a little upset on maybe that not being offensive pass interference. We had two guys there, and it looked like their guy just kind of ran through them. So second and ten for the Black Diamonds already up on the ball. Picking the pace up a little bit. Got twin sets. Good job, and Mike. And yep, time. Johnson. <clears throat> like maybe Tim Murphy in on that tackle as well. No huddle. Third and four, coach. I can't. No. My goodness, no. Third and nine. Pressure. And we get there. pressure, and he gets underneath it. You got a hold, I believe, coming back, I think. A lot of big plays on both sides tonight brought back <coughs> for holding. And you're, and you're right, and that's definitely one of them right there. Picked up the first down if they kept the catch. Yeah, the young quarterback doesn't seem to be uh, <laughs> too phased no. by it. He's thrown, thrown a couple of bullets. Takes a snap and a handoff. Good play. He's down immediately. John Lewis really did a good job blowing that up in the backfield. Lewis, Lewis had a big big game tonight. <clears throat> Been pretty steady all year, actually. John, 6'1", 220 junior. Yeah, looks like the Black Diamond is going to punt. They're short-handed right now. They are. They're still short-handed. They're still short-handed. They only have nine guys in the field, ten guys in the field. It almost cost them. <clears throat> He might have been in the halo there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just 10? 10 guys. Probably that quarterback being out number eight may have been probably right. Deal. You're probably <laughs> right. We just know the last time they were misaligned, it, it cost them six. Yes, it did. So the Tigers are going to take over uh, at the 11, backed up near the end zone. Got a long way to go. Mahaney brings in the play. 
and we'll see what we got here. See what kind of halftime adjustments Coach Whiteley's made with the staff <clears throat> after what pressure. Mm -hmm. Another nice read by Mahaney, and he's out the door all the way up to the 35-yard line. Big game by junior quarterback Cole Mahaney. Well, Had a big hold run, too. Exactly. There's the adjustment he made. He read, read that end, brought that back. He took the back, and he kept the ball and pulled it. That's a <coughs> tough play. Anytime you don't have to block somebody, it's a plus. Exactly. <coughs> Well, you said earlier they keep bringing those ends, and eventually it's going to cost them. That's right. <laughs> Tell you, they, they just had Toby's number tonight, and he he wasn't down. Now, that might have been a early whistle. Number 77, Jordan Decker did a good job that time. It's their nose guard, I believe. He's like 6'2", 300. Oh, man, he's a big cat. I'm he got a big handful, handful of jersey, and it's like, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Second and nine, not, not your favorite play call. Still like our matchup on top. Catch, that ball, yeah, play. and I think that ball might have been tipped. Good nice catch, concentration. Yes, nice concentration by Hunter Branch. So third down and three. Tigers need to keep this uh, keep this drive going, burn some clock. And yeah, that's a good drive. This could be a good drive either way. Another good read. And Mahaney may go. Mahaney will go. Touchdown. Tigers, Cole Mahaney. Good job, good adjustment. Good halftime adjustment by Coach. Yes, sir. Caught that defensive end up field. He cut up underneath him, and he was just out the, out the gates. So big, big play. You know, excellent play call. They've got uh, so many guys committed to our trip set on top. They've got three guys over the top, and then bringing the safeties over the trip side. If you get to the first level, there's nobody there. That's that's exactly right, Coach. Swing gate for the first time tonight. <clears throat> Appeared to me that Salisaw had that defended pretty good, but maybe Mahaney saw something I didn't see. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. We, we had a guy there in the back but not originally, like you say, it's kind of just yeah. backyard ball a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. So with 6.02 left in the third quarter, your Tigers 22, Salasaw 7. Good start. We'll Good take start a quick break and be right back. Muskogee Powder Coating. Doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajita Ritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. I'm back. Jackson Purdue teeing up the ball to kick again. He's kicked quite a few tonight. Kicked a whole lot this season. For Gibson 22, Salasaw 7, 6.02 left in the third quarter. And there's the kick, and that's kind of a squib, and that's going to be, I thought Ford Gibson was on that ball, but. Well, that was Hunter Branch, and I thought he had it. That's going to be good field position. I think it caught, I think it caught Salasaw completely by surprise. Definitely, and I don't think they were thinking about that at all. And it was really close to working. 
But as it is, Salasaw has the ball in midfield. <coughs> Quarterback hands the ball to number three, and he's uh, good for about seven yards. That's that other sophomore, <coughs> Steve, uh, Stevens. Yes. Sophomore quarterback's back in as well, Strain. Tackle by <coughs> Murphy. Porter Potter, excuse me, checks into the to the lineup for the Tigers and John Lewis. Straight drop. Oh, nice hip. It's gonna be a first down. See Stroom or what? Stroom to Stroom. <coughs> Scavo. Back into the lineup <coughs> for the Black Diamonds. There's Good play. Good yeah, play. yeah. That's tackle. I think that's uh, was that Mike Mike Johnson. Yep. Good tackle right there. One on one tackle right there. Had lots yep. of red around him. Mike's had a good game tonight. <clears throat> you know, I just wonder, a lot of those big guys for Salisaw going both ways, fatigue could be a factor for sure in the fourth quarter. Stream one-step drop, and he's got lots of time, plenty of time, dumps it off. I think we're going to get called for holding. To his tailback. <coughs> oh. Another one. Yeah, you got to know better than that. He was well out of bounds. So that's going to be the hold and the personal foul. That was similar to that play the first half. We just didn't come out with that back out of the backfield like we did the first half. He was unaccounted for. It looked like we held downfield. Yeah, and when you have as much time as the quarterback had that time, you're going to find somebody. Definitely. So the officials uh, working it out. Again, if Fort Gibson can hang on tonight, uh, next week just a, a huge game. Well, it's as simple as this. The winner of that game guaranteed a spot in playoffs. It's just yep, that simple. Exactly. And Broken Bow is, <laughs> as they say, a long way from anywhere. Mm-hmm. A long way from anywhere in our neighborhood anyway. You know, there was a time in, in basketball when their conference was like Tulsa Central and all those mm. people up there. I'm like, there was no short trips in that, that mm -mm. schedule. <clears throat> no, sir. So it looks like maybe we're about to get it. Oh, no. So they have to take the personal foul. I think, I think we're lucky on that because the holding was during the play. And oh, I, I think thinking. the personal foul was after the play because he was out of bounds, and so he was blown out. So it surprised I, me that both of them aren't being marked off. I agree with you. I agree with you. But we'll take it. They've got the ball the, just inside the 50, 16. So the Tigers are going to have to really bow their backs here to keep the Black Diamonds out of the end zone, making it a one-score game. And that's, I'll tell you what, little back is pretty shifty. Should have been tackled. 
behind the line of scrimmage, and he's at about the one. There's another flag. <coughs> He, he runs hard. There's no question about that. Yeah, he's, good uh, stiff arm that time. <clears throat> he weighs 150 pounds, and I'm getting, I am guarantee you, he's all 150 fighting for every inch he can get. It might have been number three. The other one, he is 180. He's a little bigger, both sophomores. I'd say we're probably approaching 100 yards. And uh, penalties tonight. Not a, not a stat you want to lead in. Yeah, I think they're going to run the sneak again here. Yeah, and I think they're in the end zone. So boy, just like that, you got a one score game, one possession. It's good. 335 left in third quarter. Fort Gibson 22, Salasaw 14. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Welcome back, and Salsaw kicks two down about the 30-yard line taken by, I believe that's Connor Lepp, if I'm not mistaken. I know, I'm sorry, that is Seth Rowan. So the Tigers in a fight. <clears throat> Three and a half minutes, 22-14. Tigers up, but they really need to... They really need to find uh, find some rhythm here and put to put a drive together, and I and I think see more of the same unless uh, Salasaws make some sort of adjustment. And yeah, definitely, I, I think that you're going to see that read option again out of that mm -hmm. trips uh, split set where they have three on one side and one on the far side. And I always kind of like on the hash putting that trip set into the boundary, so you have the one on one matchup on the wide side of the field to run that read back to. Well. Coach. We're going to run back to twins. Well, it is twins. Still can run the read option, but don't have the numbers. Like ah, that's a good read. Yes, it is. Toby West. Hang on, the football. He's still running. Good run by by Toby right there. Yeah, good his run. first big first big break of the night, and that was a good read. You know, they ran that, they started out the twin set and they motioned that receiver that's, to make it a right. trip split. That's and right. Ran back up the middle and bent it back to the single receiver side. He did a good job on that. It's a good call. 
Here's that set we talked about. Mm -hmm. And it's that play. Sure is. West again. Two in a row, he's ticked off, so. <laughs> that's a lot of a lot of real estate in two plays. Yes, it is. I think they found something there that's taking advantage of defensive rules. And it's hard to correct and stop something when your rules are that's right. putting you in that spot. That's exactly right. And see, here it is again. Same thing. And, oh, almost the same results. Linebacker, inside backer, able to make that tackle. Nice play. Yes, it was. Nice play. Yeah, offensive coordinators will tell you that they're not defensive coordinators, so they're not going to stop it for you by quit running. They're going to keep running it. That's <laughs> your job to stop it. That's right. That's right. So Tigers threatening a little more than two and a half minutes, second and 11. There's that motion again. And there goes West up the middle. Nice tackle. Looked like he had a... Yeah. But the hole was there. Good yes, hole. yes. <clears throat> Don't want to rely on the field goal right here. Let's no. Try and get our seven yards right here and punch this thing in. You're right about that. There's Hunter Branch breaking open across the middle, and he caught that ball, I think. It bounced yes. up. He hit him in the hands. He rolled it. It bounced up in his hands. So he's on, man, almost on the goal line. About as close as you can get and not be in the end zone. Officials asking for the clock to start, and it does. Saw's got everybody within a yard of the ball. And <laughs> that was kind of strange the way that happened. <laughs> just just stopped. So Toby West gets in the end zone first time tonight. Tigers 28. Saw saw 14. This, uh, this is a big extra point coming up. BB the holder. I'm sorry, Branch the holder. That yeah, is a big extra point here. And it's good. Good kick. Good kick. So big drive for the Fort Gibson Tigers. And I just saw a flag come out of the pocket, and I don't know what in the it's, world. It's think pink nut. <laughs> yeah, they're thinking pink. Man, oh, man. And that, you, you almost have to think it's Fort Gibson because the official was right among the Fort Gibson players. Offsetting. Is that what he said? It looked like it, but... He's going to mark it on the kickoff, so it's, it's on them the way he's talking because he's telling this, our side referee. Man, oh, man. What do you say, over under 10 penalties? Oh, yeah. It's got to be over. Yeah, yeah, over. Over 10. I'll take over. Hey. And a bunch of yards because a bunch of them have been 10 and 15. Man, I'll tell you, just, oh. And I know some. every game has its own personality, no question about it. No but question. in game seven, you hate to, man, you hate to see as many mistakes, mental and just mental mistakes. They're getting the most out of those pink flags. They are doing that. I think they like them. But regardless of what happens, Salasaw is going to have good field position. Oh, yes. Really good field position. So the Tigers, man, you go up two scores, and now you give them the ball. And not just two scores. They're going to have to get a two-point conversion. That's, that's right. And uh, so we're going to say that uh, we're going to get the runway kick again? I think so. We're going to take <laughs> off from the, from the goal think. line.
Yeah, I just don't think you can do anything else but that. <coughs> I'm going to give him. Really? Number two from the left side. So Purdue tees the ball up. Got it sitting pretty straight up. So yeah, he's going to take that. You're right, coach. He's going to he's going to give it a give it a ride. He's going to get a wind sprint in for the <laughs> That's right. But he's a soccer player. They're used to running all day. Yes, they are. So gets good kick. Fielded at the thirty. And good coverage. Nice coverage. Connor left. Solo tackle on the kickoff. That's about all you can hope for in a situation like that. Yeah, definitely. We, we could have not had the penalty and not got much better than that. that that's, that's right. That's really a good deal for us. That, that's right. So nice deep kick and a great hustle by Connor Lepp. Jace King and Fairchild into the lineup for the Tigers. Mike Mike Johnson. And here come the Black Diamonds. Need to get a three and out right here and get some momentum. Yes. Good play. Pretty nice. Good Pretty play. nice right there, yes. And who's that down? That's, oh, that is Mahaney. I'm hoping it's a cramp, but I don't know. Man, that was Mahaney on the tackle, right? Yeah, yeah. Mahaney, good one-on-one -on -one tackle. I mean, kid bounced outside, and uh, he came up and hit him good. Uh, I think we're going to take a break here. Uh, join us right back for more Fort Gibson Tigers TV. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Yeah, welcome back. Mahaney off the field. Number eight. Strewn. Good initial, good initial penetration by John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis played a heck of a football game tonight. Yes, he has. Been everywhere. Fairchild checks out Johnson into the lineup. So second, is it third? Third and ten. Third and ten for the Black Dimes. Gonna have to put the ball in the air. Yeah, he's got a long time to throw, and he's got a receiver open. That was a long, that was a long toss right there. It was. He put it right on the numbers. <laughs> yeah, big. Ran a good route. Ten on the top side, Scavo. Yeah, big fat post route right there, and it uh, paid off. Hit him in stride. So the Black Diamond's in business. 21 seconds, less than 20 seconds. About every time we think they're on the ropes, they <laughs> third and long. I know, I know. Something comes up. Oh, 
if they get a playoff, this will be the last play of the third quarter. And they do. It's just a little outside zone play. And they've had success. They've been, they've been moving the ball. Like you said, they're getting it sealed out there on that perimeter. And uh, Okay, I have a text from uh, Coach Obergon wanting to know why Coach Walker is not giving San Francisco Giant updates. <laughs> Coach Obergon. <laughs> we, were, we were partners today in class, Coach Obergon. I know you got to listen, but you know me well enough to know that I've got an eye on that. <laughs> MLB ticket is a wonderful thing. <laughs> So we're into the fourth quarter. We're going to hang around. Try to bring our sponsors, uh, Keats Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Green Country Lanes, and Muskogee Skate Center, Muskogee Powder Coating, Tiger's Den, Reaction Wraps, Dr. Debbie Coy and Dr. Kimberly DeRossett, The Learning Nest and Armstrong Bank. We get a good look at Connor Lepp there and some of the other Tigers. Coach Jay, Mike, Mike. So here we go, fourth quarter. Big, big game, big, big game tonight for playoff, for the playoff picture. So still 0-0, zero, zero, Coach? Yep, 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> he knew you did. <laughs> oh, Coach Obergon, he's, he's, uh, he knows. <laughs> he's, he's a prankster. He knows. <laughs> well, again, the only game really uh, that's even close tonight is, is our game in 4A4. What's the Hilldale score? Hilldale 38, Muldrow 7. Broken Bow 44, McLean 0. Poto 40, Stillwell 6. There's a snap and it's handoff left and he cuts back against the green. He's gonna be tackled at about the five yard line. I believe that was Tim Murphy. Nice so, cutback right there, nice cutback run. So it's third and really short for the Black Diamonds. And that uh, bunch set. Ooh. Hey, we had good penetration. They might have fumbled the ball. I think they did fumble the ball. They're pointing their way. We're pointing ours, of course. Let's see who's who comes up with it. I'm guessing. I'm not going to guess. We just saw, saw his ball. They're going to say he was down. The fumble. There was a fumble, but they're going to say he was down. Looked like he hit the ground, I guess. Okay, so it's first and goal from about the four. Oh, and another penalty flag. Sportsmanlike. I didn't see anything. It must have been maybe something somebody said. So it's first and goal from now, about the one and a half, just inside the two yard line, it looks like. And a heavy bunch set again, and this time they hand it off, and he's hit in the backfield. Good play, good penetration. Whole host of Tigers on that one. So that's a that's a huge play, Coach. That's 
changes the game plan for them offensively yes, for sure. Yes, it does. Gives us a little room to work with. So they brought players in from the sideline that did not make it to the huddle, and I thought that was a rule. Maybe they that's not a rule anymore, but number 40 never got within 20 yards of the huddle. And that's just a zone stretch. And that's a big-time sure play right there, sure Jackson Purdue. Sure <laughs> that's a big-time play. So that's two negative yardage plays in a row. Now the Tigers have just got to keep their cool. I don't know who's doing what down there, but whoever it is needs to stop. Yep, don't need to help them. No, it's third and goal from the nine now. Got a trip set out of that out of that bunch. We used to call that something like heavy jumbo, I think. <clears throat> you got to know where number 10 is. He's been kind of looking for him all night. Oh, and here comes, oh, I thought we were going to, oh, Tim Murphy, boy, that was a slobber knocker right there. The ball came loose pretty yes, quick. It, yes, it was. That's a good hit. That was Connor Lepp. Connor Lepp with his head on the uh, football. Sure was. Good play. Another big play. Three in a row defensively, three yeah. defensive stops. Right Connor there. Lepp with a big night for the Tigers. So fourth and goal from the nine. Good pressure from the backside uh, by, I think it was Purdue. Forced the quarterback out. Connor Lepp finished it up. There, that's going to be five more. We'll take it. Oh, there's going to be timeout, timeout for Gibson. Thought they ran out of time. Timeout. We'll take a timeout to join us back here at Leo Donahue Stadium. Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajita Ritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of Tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Salasaw Black Diamonds on the 10 yard, inside the 10 yard line, fourth and goal. And here come the Tigers, and they just miss him. But they're going to pick him up now. Good play. Good play. Good huge pursuit. play. Huge play. Jackson Purdue. <laughs> I'll tell you the guy. He's all over the place. Making some excellent one-on-one -on -one tackles tonight. All He's a over tough the runner. Place. That was big, big play for the Tigers. Now the only other thing they could do to make it better would be to take this thing and go score. And if they can't score, run about eight minutes off this clock. That's right. I thought he was going to try to keep the ball and get outside because uh, he's got some pretty good running skills. But when he held up and looked, Purdue was all over him. He was. Here's our trip split set. Out, and here comes that little read, and he's up under him. And he's got a chance. I'm saying that leg has gotten better. Right. I'd say it is. That cramp has worked out. That was about 90 yards worth. Of we're, Cole Mahaney right there. <laughs> we're, we're not going to be disappointed we didn't run eight minutes off the clock <laughs> no, either. No, we're not. We're sure not. That was an unbelievable play. Coach, you called that, though, earlier. You, We just got them outnumbered over there. They don't have the numbers. <clears throat> we made a better adjustment than what they've made. That's right. 
kind of that checks the chess match. You try to make an adjustment, and then it's their job to make an adjustment back. Good play set. Good call. <clears throat> so two two big plays in a row. One from Purdue and one from Mahaney. And here's Purdue to tack on the extra point, and he does. So with nine minutes and 12 seconds left in this contest, it is Fort Gibson 36, Salasaw 14. We'll take a quick break and be right back with you. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajitaritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. Muskogee Powder Coating, doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. Welcome back. Leo Donahue Stadium, Jackson, Purdue, getting ready to kick off again for the Tigers. And he's got that long, that long runway. Coming out of hangar number nine. That's right. <laughs> and he gets a foot into it. Five yard line, Ball's four yard be, line. Yep, wow. Four yard line. And he's gonna get up across about the 25 yard line, maybe 26. And yeah, could not see the tackle. Tim Murphy in on the tackle. Thank you, Coach. <clears throat> Hard to get good coverage on a long kick like that. That was pretty good coverage. We had yeah. a chance at the 15 to pick him up. That's good, good kick, good coverage. Yeah, anything inside the 30 is, is pretty good coverage. So the Black Diamonds, kind of a double, double, double. Uh, it's trips up there, isn't it? Quarterback has a little time. That's kind of a lob pass out there. And going to pick up short gain. Tackle by Waggle. Mm -hmm. Tackled immediately right there. With number 10, Scavo. Caught several balls tonight. Eight forty left in this contest. Trey Forrest at nose. And Brody Rainbolt had a good push that time, just couldn't get there. That ball completed. Purdue on the tackle. <laughs> Climbed on that big boy right there. That, that guy's 255. That's He's a hoss. A pretty good takedown. Good look at the Tiger defense right there. Good pressure. Good pressure. Good job. Get him down. Tell you, man, that quarterback just covers a lot of grass. He does. Got good long strides. Kind of runs effortlessly, it looks like. He does. Yeah, for a sophomore, he's a pretty good player. They have three good sophomores. Mm, very good sophomore class, obviously. Skills kids. <laughs> None of the games in our district worth mentioning. All pretty much over early. Looks like a big discrepancy between the top half and the bottom half. Yeah, exactly. A little option. Wasn't really well done, but it had good results. Yeah, it was kind of shaky on the, looked like on the makeup of it. But Got the 10 yards or nine. So second and one, the Black Diamonds ball out of a 32. Well, 
that's uh, three tigers there on the tackle there. Yeah. Fairchild Murphy and Cole Mahaney. Mahaney's had a busy night on the defensive side of the ball, both sides of the ball. Yes, he has. He's got a bundle of uh, rushing yards after two coast to coast touchdowns. Mike Johnson, pressure. Quarterback gets it off, and that's going to be it's a good play. Good yeah. Run. Had good pressure on him, though, for sure. Yes. <clears throat> he's done a good job escaping and finding his guys downfield. He's, he's really played well for a sophomore. Uh, made some good decisions with the ball. So we got a whistle. It'll be a timeout for Gibson. Tigers take a timeout. We'll take a timeout too. Join us right back. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Muskogee Powder Coating, doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. So we've got a second and one. Uh, Black Diamonds inside the 30, inside the 20. It's just a one-step drop, and he finds a man wide open. The 13 tackled in there by, I believe, that some Caden Hunt. That was Sergio Nahara Diaz uh, set down the zone right there for the Diamonds. So first and goal at the five. Last time... Uh, Black Downs are in this shape. Tigers held them out, see if they can do it again. Quick throw across the middle. He caught it and he's in the end zone. Big target. Yeah. Not much you could do about that, really. No, nope. put it up high, he made play. So we're back to a 10 point game at this point. <clears throat> Kick is up and good. So with 6.55 left in this game, 36-21, man oh man. You gotta think onside kicks coming. Yeah, I agree. One good thing, South only has one timeout left, looks like. When you're behind two scores, you'd like to have three of those. That's, that's right. Probably not going to see too many 60 and 70 numbers out there. I would imagine Hans' team will be on deck. Yeah, I think it's, uh, like I said, you're not worried about a return right now. You're worried about making sure we have the ball. That's right. So it's 6.55 and down two scores. You, Coach, uh, Coach Johnson's got his hands team out there. Just pull one lineman off and send us a skill number. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
probably shouldn't say skill number because I've got two older sons that were both linemen. They might think that the skill to be able to block because <laughs> you can't run the ball and pass the ball without those big boys. You front. cannot. And the the <clears throat> farther you go, and the uh, you know uh, in the playoffs and stuff. Well, sure. in, in the playoffs and, and in levels of football, sure. The more offensive linemen. I mean, if you, if you, by by the time you get to high school football, if you're not good in the offensive line, you're just not good. Exactly. So, Black Diamonds line up, and it indeed looks like an onside kick. It's more just kind of a hard squib. I, they would have had a hard time covering that ball. Landon Beebe <clears throat> on the recovery. Senior linebacker. So the Tigers kind of in control of their own destiny here. Just less than seven minutes. Ball at midfield, close to midfield. Mahaney at quarterback. Toby West right next to him. Oh man, penalty bug, yeah, easy. Easy 10, maybe 12, I don't know, maybe more. Mm. Boy. It's not going to be a fun uh, film watch party, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Probably Monday practice won't be very fun. I know, sure. it won't. We've got to get refocused the next three weeks. We can't, That's right. We can't do those just, things. Yeah, just huge games, huge games. So again, Mahaney in the shotgun. There goes Toby West right up the middle. Big hole. He's still running. Oh, and he dropped the ball. I think he's back on it. Nope. No, he's they not. got it. Oh boy. Here we go. 642. Ball right at midfield. It will belong to the Salisaw Black Diamonds. Kilpatrick from Salisaw recovered that. Good hit in there and they stripped him up. Good yeah, move. yeah, and you know it happens so often on those second, third effort runs, which is what that was. Get spun around, and somebody puts a hat on the ball, and next thing you know, it's on the ground. Yep. Tigers gonna have to bow up on defense right here. Probably gonna see the ball in the air a little bit. One of those sudden changes of possession, and you're right, coach. Right off the bat, he goes long, and he's got a receiver. Oh, and what a nice, I thought, I thought Branch actually picked that ball off. He made a great adjustment on that throw. Yeah, he did. They were going back at number 10 again. Uh, yes. Scava. Good player. Branch good player. Good, good jump on the ball, jumped inside, got a hand on it. Or it would have been six, it looked like. Yes. Yeah, he had him. He had him by a step. So another trips to the boundary for the Black Diamonds. One step drop and it's, yep. That was a nice tackle by Mahaney. That's two big licks by Mahaney tonight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be third and doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna be, it's four downs. Exactly. Third and three, long three, short four, whatever you wanna call it. Four actually. Big down. Another pass. Back takes a snap, and they're just, yeah, just kind of playing playing catch right now. Trying to keep everything in front of us a little bit. Yep, that's right. Putting a lot of wear and tear in those D linemen right now. <clears throat> yes, it is. Like we're manned up at number 10. That ball is going to be too long for everybody. Good coverage. Nice coverage. Branch. Yes, yep. it was. Perfect coverage. Mr. Branch and Mr. Scavo have gotten to know each other well tonight. Yes, they have. Yeah. 
Toby West checks in on defense. Dropped the linebacker out. Manning up all over the field. Looks like we've got two safeties over the top. Quarterback, a lot of time, and he misses his intended target. Official says the ball hit the turf. So the ball hit the turf. Third and 10. Shifts to the boundary again for the Black Diamonds. Uh -oh. Quarterback and he's loose and he's not dangerous. Gonna not gonna make Be it. It's gonna be fourth bit. and short. Good run again though. Yeah, he just man, elusive. Good play call. We're spread out across there trying to man up on receivers and two deep secondary. Put seven in coverage. Fourth and a long three, so it's a big, big down in this contest. Snap is back, he lets it go, and it's that's a great defensive play by, wow, Hunter Branch. Good what play. a big defensive play. Perfect, perfectly timed. So Tiger's gonna take over on downs, and man, hang on to that ball. Definitely. Hang on they, to that ball. They've only got one timeout left, so we can do what we wanna do, basically run the football. Connor Lepp checks out. Here come your Tigers. Double split set. Oh, that was scary, man. It looked like he handed it off. I think Toby West was in front of him when he handed it off. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We, we caught a break there, that's Woo. for sure. The little, little improvisation on that one. Mm, second and long. <laughs> don't think that's how Coach Wiley drew no, that. No, no. I think Coach Wiley probably, I don't know, gained a couple of gray hairs right there. Under 420 to go in this contest. Mahaney gets a snap and he hands it off to West and he, that's a big loss. That's a big tackle. And timeout. So, Black Diamond's gonna take a timeout. Tiger's gonna come back with third and long. We'll take a quick timeout and be right back with you. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. We're here late in the fourth quarter, just one tick after four. And it's third and long and the Black Diamonds are bunched up and they are coming. Oh, he just got swamped. Cole Mahaney disappeared under a mass of humanity. 
Yeah, I think he had to pick the snap snap up there off the off the yeah. ground. And anytime you're a quarterback and you're having to look down to pick the ball up on a pass route, that's mm -hmm. usually not the recipe for success. But they they brought the house on that time. You're right. <laughs> so Cole Mahaney standing on about the one two yard line. Going to have to get this one away. Black Diamonds more than likely will have good field position. That's a low line drive that's going to bounce if he can't get to well, it. And he's not great, going to. Great that's, bounce. Yeah, he wow. couldn't ask for a better kick than that. My goodness. Boy, that's, <laughs> that's as big a play as there has been in the game. Put that on the 31-yard line from our, where he kicked it from our one or two-yard line. That was incredible. Got the that's, great roll. Yes. <clears throat> So, nice job, Mama Haney. Playing well on both sides of the ball and, and special right. teams. That's right. After he just got crushed. So, Tiger defense given the task of shutting these Salisaw Black Diamonds down. The quarterback who can run and throw makes it kind of tough. Mike Johnson got close. I think the quarterback may have felt the pressure that time. Yeah, I was kind of trying to look and see who was going to pick up the back, but our linebackers are dropping on, on the snap. So that safety's over the top. So second and 10, 316 to go. Tigers up 15. Looks like we're just rushing three. Yeah, Landon Beebe's picking up. Oh, look at that. Man, we had him. <laughs> we had him twice. He just ran out of gas. Yes, he did. He is out of gas. Bless his heart, he's been running all over the field. <laughs> I don't know how many yards he has <laughs> north and south, but he's got probably half of that going east and west. He does. Atlas Potter, Potter made that tackle for the Tigers. Now he is definitely... He would definitely be sore and needing the ice tonight on the way back. <laughs> yes. yeah. Defense did a good job getting him out of the pocket and strung it out for a loss. Really nice play by the Tigers that time. Yeah, that, was a, that was a coverage sack. He had nowhere to go with that ball. Ooh, there you go. Another off. good timing one right there. Yeah, Cole Mahaney with another big pop. I think I'm seeing – Guy might be up for player of the game on us uh, in that deal. Yeah. He's all over the place. Some big plays and lots of facets. So fourth down, Tigers just uh, kind of taking charge right here. 225 left in this contest, 36-21 Tigers. Our D-line's played really well tonight. They've gotten pressure they, on the ball. They have. Not a lot of runs in between the tackles. Oh, and here comes, mm. oh yes. Kind of a delayed stunt it looked like. Yep, sure Tim was. Murphy. Yep. <coughs> good play, good play, good call, Coach Bethel. Tigers defensive coordinator, excellent defensive mind. Defense has definitely looked, looked sharp. Just, uh, man, just outstanding athlete at quarterback has, uh, has given us a few problems tonight. He's going to give us a few problems for the next couple of years, I'm afraid. Definitely. So Mahaney and West make their way back to the huddle. Mahaney in the gun as usual. West right next to him. Purdue in motion. He might have turned up a little early. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. and uh -oh. Toby West just split it open. Big hole there, and he took advantage of it quickly. Good job, O-line, opening it up. Turned it straight up the gut on that one. Good good play call. Good blocking up front, good execution, good run by Kobe. That's right. He's got those afterburners. <laughs> he does. He didn't take him long to get there. No, he, he gets that zero to 60 in a hurry. So 42-21 with the extra point coming. And 
and it's good. 43-21, 2.13 left in this contest. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Muskogee Powder Coating doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, welcome back to the O'Donohue Stadium for Gibson Tigers commanding 43-21 lead, 213 left. Lots of playoff implications. Coach Walker and I are just discussing. We do know that next week is a big game down in southeastern Oklahoma. There's a fair catch. About the 31, I believe. Tigers do travel to Broken Bow next week. Huge, huge. District 4A4 game. The score right now is a little bit more what we were thinking probably before this game started. It, it is. It's been a work in progress, that's for sure. <laughs> had to work for it, that's right. So Black Diamonds uh, may... Uh, Twin set. And quarterback keep. What else? Tim Murphy on the tackle. A little surprised that they're still running that, that young man with the score like it is. I, mean, I could see him throwing, but. I, I agree. You're down 22 in the fourth, under two minutes to go. If that's your guy. You know, it's been a pretty physical game tonight. Yes. See a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of folks out there tired. There's a completion and a tackle by Branch. Clock stops, minute 35 left in this contest. Yeah, we had a little bit of everything tonight. Official go down with a hamstring. But he showed some toughness. He He's did. Back in. He did. He's back in. <laughs> Give it to him. And Murphy in pursuit. Quarterback dumps it off. Boy. Inbounds still. Another tackle by Branch. It's always a good sign when our guys are going downstairs That's right. before the clock's off. That's Coach right. White, Coach Whiteley and Coach London heading out early. We'll be part of the field celebration. And quarterback keeper again. Man, I don't know how many carries he's had tonight, but it's a bundle. It's a bunch of carries. So we're under a minute. <clears throat> Tigers will go seven and one on this season. Undefeated in district play. And great effort again by Mike Johnson. Almost got the sack, forced the pass, forced the throw. Broken up by Lep. Yes. 
last couple of times we rushed him, looks like we kind of broke down but when we got to him so he didn't scramble because right. uh, we were on him pretty quick. Trey Force in the lineup. Right between the hands. Speaking of Trey Forrest, if you haven't picked up your Trey Forrest t-shirt, I would strongly encourage you to do that. It's a, it's a lovely piece of <laughs> photography. <laughs> Trey Day. <laughs> He's got the creativity working. He does. He does. I'll, that's a good, that's a good description, coach. <laughs> Handoff goes to number three, who's had a Pretty good night. No sophomore for the yep. Black Diamonds. Finally tackled by number three, Landon Beebe. Those three sophomores have run the ball hard, I can tell yes, you that. Yes, they, they have. They sure have. So that's going to do it from Leo Donahue Stadium tonight. We're your Fort Gibson Tigers, 43, Salisaw 21. Once again, uh, the game will be on the road, and I mean on the road and broken bow. Next week, we will not be broadcasting from there. Uh, look online, perhaps Broken Bow will broadcast that game. So for Coach Jerry Walker, I preach, uh, appreciate very much tonight. You did a super job, and I just can't thank you enough. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.